Hello, and welcome back to The Pen Habit. My name is Matt Armstrong, and uh, I'm, I'm a pen addict. Hi, Matt. Uh, glad to have you back for another video, and I'm glad to be back doing another video. Today, we're going to be revisiting a pen, kind of, that I've done before. So previously, I've done a review of this uh, Platinum 3776 Century in Chartres Blue. Um, really pretty resin. I like the pen. I didn't adore the pen at the time, but the more I've used it, the more I've come to like it. Uh, it really is quite a nice pen. It fits more nicely in my hand than I initially suspected it did, uh, although I do often feel like I have to write with it posted, which I normally try to avoid. Uh, however, I had a viewer, Paul, contact me and ask me if I would uh, be interested in looking at another Platinum 3776 Century, this time with a music nib. Now, Music nibs are, I've heard of them. I'd never used one before. So I was i was excited to give it a try. So um, I'll talk you through the pen just a little bit. There's not a lot different about the pen um, than there was with the Chartres Blue uh, Platinum Century earlier. But I want to walk you through what this pen is, how it works, and, and especially spend a little bit more time talking about the nib. So the pen itself is... You know, here's the here's my Chartres Blue. Here is the black with rhodium trim version that uh, that Paul sent to me. Same size. It's uh, 140 millimeters capped. Uncapped, you're looking at 120 millimeters. And then the pen can be posted. And when it is posted, it is 153 millimeters. Uh, you, when you are looking at the uh, the section, you're looking at about 10 and a half at this part of the section. The widest part of the barrel is about 13 millimeters. And the widest part of the cap, which is right here along this rhodium plated band, is 15 millimeters. The pen weighs 24 grams when it is posted and 14 when it is not. So it is a fairly light pen. Um, and this is a pen you can hold for quite a while without it getting feeling heavy or getting too tiring. Um, which I've come to really appreciate. Black resin, or acrylic rather, and, uh, and rhodium trim on all of the plating. Cigar shape, fairly standard, kind of a, a standard clip. The clip, oh, that is not what I intended to do. <laughs> the clip is quite stiff, almost a little bit too, too much so. Center band says 3776, platinum, and made in Japan. So there you go. The nib is the real star of the show here. And I don't know how well you can see this in the video, but this is a music nib. So for those who don't know, a music nib is a two-slitted nib. Um, and I'll show you kind of why they call it a music nib. As someone who has done a fair share of writing music, uh, this I, there, there are days where I wish I had a pen like this to do some of my work for me. Um, but it's it's basically kind of like a stub nib, a wet stub nib. So um, we'll I'll, I'll get to the writing characteristics, but you can see here the two the two nib slits that come down to the point. It is a 14 karat gold nib, cartridge converter pen with a platinum converter. Platinum converters do work pretty well, I have to say. I haven't had any problems with them up to this point. Threads are very nicely cut. All in all, it feels like a really good fit and finish on this pen, which is not terribly surprising because that was the experience I had with my, my Platinum 3776. They're nice pens. And honestly, the more I use them, the more I begin to wonder why Platinum pens aren't more popular. They're really good writers. I, I, was, I was actually really surprised uh, at how I've been surprised at how well my 3776 has done, and this one does really well too. Um, now, music nibs, as I mentioned, are like stub nibs. And for me, they're a little bit big to use as a daily writer, but they're f it, I had a lot of fun with this nib. So thank you, Paul, for sending this my way, because this was a fun nib to play around with. So um, other than that, you know, I like the pen. It is a little more uh, understated, if I'm being polite, than I generally like. You know, a black cigar-shaped pen, I've said this before, there's a billion of them, and I've got several of those billion. So uh, another one doesn't interest me all that much, I have to say. Uh, that being said, I have a review of another 
black cigar shaped pen coming up in fairly short order. But uh, um, but let let me just walk you through the writing on this pen, and we will go from there. All right, the pen for today is the Platinum. 3776 Century with a 14 karat gold music nib. And the ink for today is Diamine Damson. Really pretty, kind of dusty purple ink. I, I like this this ink a lot. I've been playing around with it the last little while. I got a sample from the Goulet Pen Company, and uh, I, I'm trying to be better about not buying bottles of ink until I'm sure I actually like the ink. That's been a problem for me in the past. So, uh, so now I'm doing the sample thing again, and I, I like this sample a lot. I suspect there's going to be a bottle of this in my future. Uh, all right, our quote for today. Okay, you can see this This pen lays down a really quite a wide line. Um, but in terms of smoothness, you know, I, I've had a few stubs in the past and I don't love a stub nib. Um, you know, I've enjoyed playing around with them a little bit and I like the line variation and things like that, but I don't love a stub nib and especially not for everyday writing. One of my complaints about most modern stub nibs is that there's no tipping material on them. They're just, you're just writing with the steel. And so you don't get that, I just haven't gotten a really buttery stub feeling from any nib that doesn't have tipping material. This nib does have a nice blob of tipping material on it, and, and it's smooth. It's really, really smooth. Um, which I do like a lot. I do wish the music nib was a little less wide, I guess. Either that or I just need to get a stub ground from like a broad or something like that. But but it's it's quite smooth. And with the dual nib slits and the accompanying feed, it's also uh, rather a wet pen. So it's it's nice and wet, but it's not drenchy wet. Now, you know, they ask, why is it called a music nib? Well, you're going to be doing, you know, it's a nib like this. It's it's fairly easy to, you know, to get note heads and, you know, that sort of thing. So, so the 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 narrow cross strokes and the broad down strokes you would get also like on a stub can help with withdrawing music notes. Now, in terms of line variation, it's already wide, and this is a really rigid nib. I, I'm not going to push too hard because this isn't my pen. Even if it were my pen, I wouldn't push too hard. It's not. It's just not meant to flex. Now, there you can find every now and again uh, vintage Waterman flex music nibs, and those are pretty spectacular. Aziza has a video of her Waterman 94 with a music flex nib up on YouTube. You should do a search for it. It's I saw, I mean, I can't write with a f well with a flex nib like that. I saw that nib and it made me want one desperately, uh, which is ridiculous because I couldn't even put it to use <laughs> if it were a, a true flex music nib like that. But, um, but you'll notice that even with just a little bit of pressure, there's some pretty spectacular shading. Uh, the ink, you can change the ink flow with a little, little bit of downward pressure, no problem. Uh, upside down writing, it writes. It's a, 
it's a bit toothier. I wouldn't call it scratchy per se. You get a really fine cross line if you do it upside down and moderate broad line that way. Uh, but yeah, overall, you know, I like this nib a lot. I think there will probably need to be a platinum nib at some point in my future, although I'm not sure how often I would use the pen, so I may not get one. But I do I do like the nib a lot. Uh, the smoothness of it, the the it, just the perfectly, you know, juicy ink flow. It really is quite a nice writing experience. Uh, comfortable in the hand. Now, I do tend to hold it up on the threads a little bit further um, instead of down. I could hold it down and it writes well if I do. If I do find my fingers on the threads, though, the threads aren't particularly sharp. Um, so there you go. That has been my uh, review slash re-review of the Platinum 3776. It's a pen I still like quite a bit, uh, a pen that I use on my own. The music nib is interesting. I like it a lot from a novelty perspective. From a day-to-day -day use perspective, it's probably not something I would dive into all that often. Uh, but, you know, maybe lettering on credit card, or not credit card, Christmas card envelopes or something like that. Or, you know, if I wanted to, to show off an ink or things, things along that line. But to simply to write every day, you can see for my handwriting, it's just too, too wide a line. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. I always do my best to try to answer them if I can. Or you can email me, penhabit at gmail.com. As always, thank you very much for watching. Thanks again to Paul for sending me this pen to review. It's been a joy. I've really appreciated it. And uh, this will be coming to you via the mail shortly. So uh, if have a good one. And we will see you here next time on The Pen Habit.